So exactly. There you go. Just today, someone posted something uh, about that on 11 11 at 11 11 a.m plus or minus 30 seconds um this monument lines up perfectly with the north pole i believe and i think you said something similar about the georgia guidestones as well yeah yeah it's so similar the, to that yeah the georgia guidestones have a little hole in them and when you look through the hole the polaris is there the, the north star so it lines up all the time anything by the way anything that lines up with polaris always lines up with polaris because polaris doesn't move right but, you know, they, they want us to think, that, you know, the heliocentric model says basically that we are corkscrewing through space, you know, spinning uh, at a thousand miles an hour, uh, orbiting the sun at 66,000 miles an hour, chasing the sun at a half a million miles per hour, while that entire system moves sideways at one to two million miles per hour. All of those directions, all of that movement, but the stars never change. Go out tonight, Look at the stars at whatever time, make a little chart, and then go out next year, same night, same time. The stars will be in the exact same position, even though we've corked through, through space um, in in four different directions, traveling billions of miles, but nothing ever changes. <laughs> the sky is a perfect clock. So every single thing about our solar system, from eclipses to planetary orbits, prove it's a lie in itself. It's all just lies upon lies. way I describe the world is it's a giant lake, a giant lake. Large bodies of water at rest lay flat. Scientifically test will be provably flat. We can prove that. All of the islands, continents are surrounded by water, but all of the water is surrounded by higher land. Antarctica is the highest land on earth. Antarctica is not a continent at the bottom of a spinning ball. Antarctica is all of the land that surrounds our known world. And nobody is allowed to explore this outer space. It's off limits to everybody until the year 2041. And by then they'll kick it down the road another six years. If you could get, if it happened, the divergence would prove the point, right? Well, it, there's so many times, you know, there, and these emergency landings happen all the time. All the time. Right. And here's 16 that were documented in this book, greatest book ever. It's in the app under books and settings. I highly recommend you buy it. You can get it for free, the PDF, but it ain't the same as having a coffee table book. It's a, it's a great book to lay on the table. If someone picks it up, they become a flat earther. Like, damn, I went over Joe's house for friggin' a beer, and now I'm a flat earther. Right. I assume his name is Joe. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying that. I'm just throwing a random name out there. I wasn't even talking about you. <laughs> um, and so, 16 of them, they make zero sense on a globe, and they make absolute perfect sense on a flat Earth. Documented. Hmm. NASA, the liars, not a space yeah. agency, um, are in charge of radar. They're in charge of GPS. They're in charge of flight route. All flight routes. They, they control all the means of not only of information but dispersal of that information yeah. or positive so it's like the NASA thing once you get over that <laughs>